of Shonda, Antonio, and their new house. May all who enter through its doors find hospitality and God's grace. Hear our prayer, O Lord. May this living room be a place of love, compassion, and acceptance for all who live and visit here. Lord, bless this room. May Antonio's room be a place of comfort, creativity, discovery, and peaceful sleep, a room to call his own. Lord, bless this room. May Shonda's room become her own quiet refuge, a place to know you and be known by you. Lord, bless this room. May the guest room be a place of hope and peace for all who spend time there. Lord, bless this room. May the bathroom be a place that promotes cleanliness and well-being. Lord, bless this room. May all who prepare food in this kitchen do so with love, and all who share food at the table experience fellowship with you, Lord, and one another. Lord, bless this room. Bless this house, O oh Lord, and make of it a true home for Shonda and Antonio. May your spirit dwell here and within them forever. Amen. For those who don't know, I'm the general contractor and oversee the construction. But without, like it's been said, without the help of Randy and Mark and y'all, this isn't possible. I can't do everything, and it's only through y'all's labor of love that this is possible. And I, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. And I would like to present Shonda with the keys. These are taken. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody who came. First United Methodist, I thank y'all so much. Every Saturday I was dedicated. Y'all was here all the time, every day. I mean, y'all was real nice and fun to work with. And I just want to thank y'all so much for helping build my house. And um, Miss Terry, Miss Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank you so much. It was a lot I didn't know, and you were right there to answer the phone every time. And I just want to thank you so much. <laughs> and also, these are my family. This is my sister, Michelle. You know, she took all.